Hey everybody, alright, this one I want to show you is a tool I use at the school district a lot um, and it's called Remote Task Manager and one of the scenarios that uh, that comes up where I need to use this is if if I need to remote into a machine or if I need to restart a machine or do something on a teacher's machine or a lab machine somewhere out there but I need to do something to it but I don't know if someone's logged in or not uh, this is the main reason I use this utility um, it, it's called Remote Task Manager and right now I just downloaded the trial version so oh, as a matter of fact I guess I gotta bring something up here okay now here we go let's minimize that um, Remote Task Manager this is the trial version and um, I, I don't know if I think it's there's a, a time limit on it or not or something but I don't know anyways when you first run it, when the very first time you download it and you run this thing, it automatically connects to your machine, the machine that it's installed on. Um, and, and I don't want that. Since it's the trial version, I'm only allowed to uh, connect to one machine at a time. So first thing I do is I go into options and restore last connection. I turn that off. Um, that way when I first load this up, it comes up with the... Um, uh, it comes up with this screen here where you select the computer. Now, for this demonstration, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect to my laptop that you saw on my desk over here, right? If you saw it or not, but and it's called um, C Davis Laptop. Hit enter. Okay. Right now it's saying Remote Task Manager service does not exist on the laptop. Do you want to install it? And you say yes. And what you're doing is you're gonna go push out the the little EXE file that runs or that that runs on that machine uh, to enable you to connect to this. Now, what I got to do first is find it. I believe it's program files and then remote task manager. Yep, there it is. There it is. RTM service. Just double click it. It's automatically installing the service. Hopefully. I do have kind of a strange setup going on over here. At work, at my, at my work this, this happens right away and it works great. But now it's not. Okay, there. It finally went. Now, what we, what we got here. A ton of stuff to work with. First thing I look at, well, first thing that comes up is this tab applications. Um, there is one thing running, just a program manager. Uh, normally you'll see that or you'll see nothing in there at all. And what I do first to, to see if someone's logged in is I go to processes and I sort by username. Now here you go, you can see I'm logged into the machine right here with my domain account. That tells me, hey, don't try to remote into the machine or don't try to restart it or whatever. Um, that uh, that's a real that's my indicator that someone's currently logged into the machine now uh, another another thing I've done in the past I mean you can see that there's all kinds of stuff up here net stat uh, shares you can see what shares are on the computer um, event viewer you know it'll load up all your event viewer stuff services you can control the services from here kill processes and everything um, now it's going to take forever because I hit events that's great uh, another thing, uh, another scenario is if I have some kids that are trying to, um, uh, if I have some kids that are trying to uh, search for proxy sites or something, I just want to send this kid a message. Well, uh, I, I figured a little trick out here. You can remote execute. Oh, you know what? I don't know if we can do that with this with this version. Now it's going to be all crazy. But you can remote. And locked up. I see. Yeah, you can remotely execute a. Uh, a file or an application or anything and what I would do is remotely execute a command line saying um, MSG space uh, double quote um, hey you know please stop searching for blah 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 or whatever and it'll it'll actually it'll actually uh, yeah now it's now it's gonna be messed up but that's okay it would it would throw up a pop-up window on that screen um, saying that message and then they can hit OK or whatever which is kind of a cool little thing just a little way to, to send a message um, but yeah that's too bad that it's all hung up I don't have the full version so it's probably not going to work right anyways but there you go